the Mobile Delta is just one of the most complex and biologically rich places in North America. It's the second most intact Delta system in North America. One of the most impressive things about the Delta is that at times it seems almost endless. It's like there's no edge to it. <laughs> and you have to be in just the right spot before you see the edges, the bluffs that rise up on either side of this massive, massive wetland. There's just more species of fish, turtles, crayfish, living in this system in Alabama than in many other places in the world, certainly within the U.S. It is an incredibly productive area. This is one of the great centers of diversity in North America. This is what we should be prioritizing. Two river systems, the Tom Bigby River coming from the west and the Alabama system coming from the east, meet together just above Mobile and they form the Delta. So you have really two thirds of Alabama, parts of Georgia, Mississippi, all flowing down to the same point. And because we have all this water and all this moisture and heat and, and the climate coming off of the Gulf of Mexico, life just explodes. And because of that, we've had more life evolve here than just about any other place in North America. Species need the ability to move in the face of climate change. And generally that trend is gonna be species moving from south to north. And this is one of those big, big, huge migratory corridors that really needs to be taken care of. If we don't have these highly connected migratory corridors for species to move, then it could ultimately result in extirpations, extinctions, species not here that are supposed to be here. This resilient area is very, very, very important. The Nature Conservancy in Alabama, we're trying to do our part for this larger work that the Nature Conservancy is trying to do around the world. And Alabama is right up there in the top of the ranks for the places that should be protected. And among all the places in Alabama, the Delta is at the top of the list. We're starting to see the places, especially along the edges of the Delta, developed and turned into housing developments. We're afraid that if we don't step in now and hold these big blocks together, that we'll lose that connectivity and then we'll start losing that abundance of life. I belong to a group that's been working for a number of years now, suggesting to people of South Alabama the prospect of having a large nature park that embraces the Mobile Tensaw Delta and continues on north through the Red Hills and along the riverine environment for quite a distance. If Alabama did not seize the day and continue with its improving restoration and firmer planning for reserves and parks, they can see what they have to lose. You know, I do anything I can to promote the state that I, I owe so much to.